Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog. Um, I've been playing around with this uh, red 0 to 30 volts, 0, uh, 2 milliamp to 3 amps power supply and I've come across a few things that I think you should know and I am, at the minute, I've got the one with the boys you see the, the boy type things on the corners this is the very first board I bought and I remember this one being it even though I've got other boards like this because of this LED and I'll show you in a minute first of all I just want to show you that I have been testing these little, uh, that one says NEC it's not a real NEC D882 got another one here uh, you see them blowing up to pieces Blowing them all to pieces, all in the name of let's figure this thing out. Got another one. Oh, I'm just grateful that they're not genuine. None of them are genuine. Come on, see the damage. Yeah, that one, I remember that one. Yeah, because that didn't blow anything off it, but it didn't have smoke. And it, whoa, so much cooking. There you go. I mean, this is what we play for, isn't it? It's one more melted. Uh, yeah, that one I had chunk blow off it. That was quite good, actually. I might even put up a bit of video to show you that. So, so this is it with the current up full. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back the current off. And I'm going to back the volume off. And we should be able to see quite clearly. Let me just find a little something, something to clamp these two together just to make it easy. So, in our short circuit startup, if I just put a, let's say 15 volts there, we should, there we go. And that's exactly what we want to happen, right? Uh, now, is that, that's on, that's on full off. Ah, now, I don't know if you noticed, but me turning the current up there, he goes to show in some respects. Did you see that where that landed? So that bit of transistor shot out of there, hit the transformer here, and landed just here. Okay. Because it shot off here and hit the transformer over there <laughs> and then landed behind here. Clean, clean. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, now, what have I been doing? So, right, I've been playing around with this. Uh, I've also been playing around with the pass transistor here. And I've, I've sort of, at the moment, on those ones, this, I believe, is a genuine Toshiba. I don't know, you can't see it very well because it's covered in... But that's a, that's a genuine Toshiba. I shouldn't actually be using this, playing around with this, but I was at one stage. But what I've got is the um, the ones, the, uh, what they call it, the 2SC 5200s from China. Is that one of them? I, I, do, I do believe it is. And I've also been playing around with the um, 3055, tip 3055s. I wish I could make out what that is. I don't know if it's my... My glasses, I don't know where or the fact I just can't get the thing uh, in, but no, never mind, it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, I can tell you how the tip, uh, that's the one that I've got on there, one of those. Yep, 2SC4200. So that's what's on here, and that is also what's on this red board. I'll just pull that out. This is the one that I've been doing the most experiments with because it's the one that I'm trying to get to work. This one works fine. I'm going to very quickly show you now. I've got, um, because they're the cheapest that I can find and they're off eBay. Oops. Cheapest I can find and they're off eBay. So who knows if they're genuine or not. Look, these are 741s, 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 uh, UL 741s. The most popular of the op operational amplifiers, the... Uh, and I'm going to just quickly show you now what we get out of this. So I'll just back that off a bit for absolute clarity so you can see that. Uh, so this is transformer. It's a little bit bigger than maybe what you might want to use. This is a 160. Now, let me tell you something quick about the transformers. Uh, 
If you were trying to use, let's say, because this is 90 watt power supply, yeah, three amps, 30 watts, 90 watt, uh, 90, three amps, 30 volts, 90 watts. And if you were going to try and use a 90 watt transformer, chances are with line regulation and the, um, the bit that you're going to lose through the transfer AC, DC, you know, from one, um, no, not the AC, DC, but from one, uh, uh, voltage to the other the transfer in this there's losses everywhere in this stuff and you're not going to get the full 90 watts out of this so at the moment on this one i got a 160 watts uh, a 160 va so 160 watts if you like so it gives it plenty of headroom to get this out so without further ado what i'm going to do is i'm just going to back this off all the way i'm going to turn that up full current right full current and i'm going to put this atom load on there and uh, we're going to see down there, I hope you're going to see that down there, and we're going to start going up. And hopefully you're going to see, here we get to 27.6, let's say, I'll back that down a little bit, 27.6, uh, 3.43 amps. So we're doing a quick little bit on the calculator, and we got a 27.6 times 3.44 and uh, we'll just do an equals on that. And we got 94 watts. All right, so that's, uh, that's that's what we get set up like that. Now, I'm not saying you could run like, like that all day. I certainly wouldn't think you could. Uh, but if you were to back that down a little bit, get it a bit more uh, reasonable for what you got here. Uh, yeah, you know, that's good. We got we got the sort of output that it's, the spec is saying. Now, like I say, I've used these uh, SC... Uh, Two SC part of two hundreds on here to help cope with that. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace this board for this board, and um, we're going to see what we get out of this. This has uh, all these work as these up amps. I have been through the up amps, so I've got some other seven four ones in there. They work. I've got. Couple of there, there's a cross on there as you can see because I've determined that they don't work, and I've determined that all these these are pumps. Get rid of that, that works. No, that doesn't work actually. That's uh, that got broke, um, and I'm not sure if that's any good. Nope, by the looks of it, that is no, well, it could be by the looks of it, that might be. We'll have to have a little look at that. All these up pumps work, but for the interest of this, I'm going to take these off here and put them on here but only once i've done the test on here it's all the same it's all the same components it's all the same um ripped off d882s um the difference is this is that red board where this is a different alignment to this and also the connector here is different on here so i've changed my socket around here i actually put a socket on there so i could plug this in and not uh, reverse polarity uh, this. So let's swap it out. Oh, I didn't show you. Wait a minute. He said he was going to show us the blooming thingy majiggy. The difference, how do I know it's there? Because it's got a clear LED. Yes, and I do like that LED. Let me just quickly show you now. Uh, let me just turn this down. Yep. Turn that on. I just turn that up, and I'm just going to turn it into current. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's because my little LED lights up red. Now, even though that is uh, current limited, 100 milliamps. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I should take these out. And put these in there first and just see if we can get that 100 milliamps down let's put that on again and i just want to see we're exactly the same right so i'm not going to change these pots we're going to quickly whip these out so i've got a tool for this now i've been doing so much of this i thought well i better get a tool because it's going to make my life a lot easier so let's pull that out pull that out I know. And let's just 
I'm gonna have to do something about this light over here. I need to be able to see a little better, a bit better me. Okay, so that's in. This is going to be turned the other way around on this board. There's the way that is. Okay. Well, this tool, this little tool is great for getting these things out. I don't know why it's the first time I've done it actually on camera and I can't seem to do it. I don't know more fingers and thumbs or what's going on. But it's a great little tool. This makes life easier. It only costs a couple of pounds. Oh, they're all about straight. Right, so this is with the UL 741s. So we've got our 8 ohm load on there, and I've got a 10 ohm load which actually works better for this but it's only 10 watts so it's too easy damaged. So let's pop that down, alright that was pretty much left the way it was before, so let me just turn that up, and uh, turn this up full, and that's all we get, 15 volts, 1.8 amps. Alright, so if we just round up to 2 amps and say it's 15 volts, we're talking uh, 30 watts. That's not good. Now, why is that? That's not good. Why is that? Let's take out these up amps and put those other up amps in. What on earth did I do with them? Where did they go? Did the other up amps? Oh no, they're still in this, aren't they? So we'll take these ones out. These are the ones that gave us the 90 watts. In near the board, we're trying. I'm still trying to determine whether there is a, you know, someone's doing the board. We got the same. Well, I say the same V8 um, double twos, double eight twos, and the reason why I say that like that is because if they are just dodgy in the first place, the chance of them going for any real type of quality control is going to be quite marginal so the outputs that you could have in relation to your particular uh, kit could be reliant on uh, the quality of those particular chip of those particular transistors which is a pity really because you'd hope that you know they'd all be I mean there's going to be a little tiny bit of differences you can't really help that the only way you're going to get those tr transistors work in the pretty much identically as well within the op amps. So we get that one in, get it the right way around. Bring that down a bit so I can see these pins going in. Okay, here's the next one. Oops. Just straighten those out. That's good enough for me. As long as it's good enough for the holes. Is it good enough for the holes? Not really. Don't want to go in there. What's wrong here? No, we've got one in bed. So, yeah, the. Uh, I'm starting to think. Come on. Oh, this is terrible. Why isn't that going together? I've got something stuck in there. It's better. There we go. Okay, one, two. The third one looks like it should slip straight in. If I can see it properly on that side. Let's 
lined up here. Okay, so these are now the um, TL 081s. Alright, so let's just turn that down. Turn that on, and we'll go up on that. So we got 13.9, 14.1.7. So let's just we can say that again. No, 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 no. So why should that be? Why should it be that this whole setup, including the output transistor, um, has much better on the other board, on this board? I mean, we had 90 some watts out of this. Okay, and we just backed it off to make it a bit more stable. Uh, let's, we, yeah, we can call that 90 watts. So what is the difference between these two boards? I don't know. I can't tell you. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it is the quality of this. Maybe this is a good one. Uh, these are just the, the rubbish ones. I've been blowing them up. Bam, bam, bam. I've not been doing this in here. I did one of these in here. And that's when I get to this bit. Yeah, I'm going to... Let's just say we've looked at that, right? So you've seen the output on there. Now I'm going to tell you now what I was going to tell you earlier. Is if you run this up as a short circuit. And you do it partially on, let's say, one amp. One volt. And you short it. It doesn't seem to have much problem with that. But if it were on full power full voltage and you short it pop that's how i've been blowing these up because i've been trying to find a way not to have this blow up uh this chip i prefer this to go bang and the reason why i prefer this to go bang is i explained in the other videos but as i'm not going to bother putting those up probably i um is because this one taking on and off the board something out all the time so he's damaged the tracks and then you got issues there possibly this one's easy look just undo that change it over it might cost an extra quid but it might save you the board and it's not the point that it's the board it's a cheap board but it's the amount of time it takes you to populate it with the parts and and all this sort of stuff so yes yeah, so i've not thought those out doing that i also tried with a tip 31 i used the tip 31a that goes with 60 volts 5 amps i nearly got 19 volts out of it but I didn't short it out. When I did short it out on full power on that, it didn't blow up the thingy. It didn't do anything to this. I also used in reverse, because it's a different pin out. If we go, um, I can't remember what it is on this, but if we just say it's, uh, oh, darn it. Because I really want another pin out now. Um, but it's reverse. So basically in the middle, we got the base. On one side, we got the collector. On one side, we got the emitter for the DA tape. Two, and I used a 139 um, thingy midi 139. What was it? But that's a reverse pin out. So even though it can be used, you have to put it in the other way around. So um, it'd be like this. Boom. Yeah. And that went up to 26 volts, and I didn't pop it when I did the short circuit on it. I don't know if that's it. That's a tip 31A. Yeah, that's the 31A. I'm just looking for the other uh, for the other transistor. Oh, no, no, this is another one. That I up. Oh, there it is. That's the BD139. So yeah, so I just put that in rather than it be like that. So I just reversed it, put it this way, and put the heat sink on the other way around. So it's still facing there, and that was fine as well. That worked. That one gave me 26 volts. And I couldn't pop it by shorting it out. But what I did have, shorting it out, I had uh, two and a half amps of current running through it. And so I put my meter on it. And yes, the current was still running through. So I think we are going to be pretty, uh, unless somebody out there has got a better, um, and I don't mean just guessing off the top of your head, a uh, transistor that can be used in here uh, I think we're going to be sticking with these now I've got some uh, he says a genuine and I've spent over the top money if you compare how much I mean, these cheap ones you can get uh, I've still got a bag of them and I've got more as well um, over there and the thing is 
but they're cheap as chips and these are the D802s, right? So you could just keep thinking, I'll oh, just keep swapping them out, keep swapping them out. But if every, if you do short it out at full pump, it goes, uh, yeah, just for the sake of it. So there's full power there. Let me just get this like this. So first of all, we're gonna do it not at full power, right? I'm gonna turn the current off a little bit. We're gonna turn this up to, let's say, 10 volts and then we're gonna and as you can see but look 3.2 amps 3.3 amps oh my life that's not very good is it and that's with this hardy turned so you see where that is now if i use my screwdriver when you see where it is i use my screwdriver turn it that's it that's off from there to there is off so if i put it back there again do that again yeah, 3.2. If I back that off a little bit, 3.1, natural fat. Just leave that there. And off. And that's in that small amount of space. That's less than 45 degrees. Uh, sorry, less than 90 degrees. From there to there. And that's look, the little blue lights come out. So it's not even a, uh, you see that flashing. So that's not very good. Now, if I turn this up, so let's say 30 volts, and that's up like that just a little bit, you've just notched it up. Now that was like three and a half um, thing that you use, three and a half amps, now watch. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, holy moly. Let's turn that up all the way. Line no, that's up all the way. That's up. As far as I can go, 30 volts. That doesn't do it. And that brings it to 3.4 amps. But that 3.4 amps is going through that circuit. Well, that clearly shows me then. Because that's just the D882 out of the same pack. That if I if I did it with these, apart from one of them, one of them was in my other power supply. This is the original one. This is the one that I would normally use, right? And it was kept in there. But I took it out of there and put another one of these boards with the boys on it in there because I needed one running just for doing little things. Um, and it goes to show that doing that, what I just showed you, bang! It happened on here, so that's one of them. The other ones, all the other ones, are from it being in here and me popping it, doing exactly what I just showed you then. So some of them are slightly better quality. I've got some genuine D882s coming in, and um, hopefully they're gonna be here at the start of next week. And I will do an addition to this to show you at the start of next week where we get with that. And um, what I wanna be able to do is get it so this board functions in a way that um one if we do short it i mean get don't get me wrong i understand this this is how you're going to adjust it right so you short it like this and you adjust it down there so you can say i only want i wish it'd have a bit more um because i'm only turning a bit i only want let's say uh it's quite hard to get it to 100 milliamps i only want 100 milliamps on it Right, that's probably about as close as I'm going to be able to get it to 100 milliamps. Now we can take it off and we can attach our circuit and we know that we're going to go up to 100 milliamps. Brilliant. But like I said before, when I've been doing it, I've just been popping these things out. And I'm going to, in actual fact, if I've got them all on there, I'll just add them little tiny bits to the end of this. Just the pop, pop, pop. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to show you I'm popping. All right. So apart from that little bit that's going to come now, got this far. Thanks for watching. Hopefully... Next week, we'll have a little bit more insight to getting genuine chips on there. Let's just say it was a genuine chip thing. And uh, we'll go from there. Bye for now. Enjoy the pops and the smoke.